There are many lenses through which to look at the future prospects of the United States in relation to Asia and particularly China. I believe that technology is one of those lenses. As reflected by the terms stone, bronze, iron, and information ages, technology is no less than defined the epochs in human history. From a technology perspective, the National Academy of Engineering has identified great engineering achievements of the last century that have fueled our economic and social prosperity. These include, among others, electrification and water purification, health technologies, electronics, mass communications, personal and mass transportation, advanced materials, and even household appliances. From an economic perspective, the Nobel laureate Robert Solow and other economists have shown that over half the economic growth of the United States in the first half of the last century was due to technology, and the last half of the century was even more technology intensive. So it seems pretty clear, at least to me, the development of technology and of technically grounded innovators and of technically conversant decision makers and leaders in all spheres and echelons of society are essential for any nation. As we look to the future, what are some causes for optimism and some causes for concern, and vice versa for China? The proverbial good news, bad news. Some causes for optimism. The openness of the U.S. society and its economy. The entrepreneurial spirit of the U.S. people. The entrepreneurial ecosystem in the U.S., which includes education, finance, and IP protection. Without almost failure, all the immigrants I've known from Asia are dazzled by the openness of the U.S. environment. The openness to new ideas, to people the world over, to innovation at every turn. A second reason for optimism, 15 of the top 20 rated universities at Times Higher Education annual rankings are U.S. universities. The U.S. universities drive much of the U.S.'s technical, economic, and social innovation. As an example, MIT's living alumni have founded 25,000 companies. They employ 3.3 million people and have an annual revenue of $1.1 trillion. Universities clearly make a difference, and the U.S.'s position in the university rankings is a cause for great optimism. Some causes for concern. Federal funding of engineering and physical sciences in the U.S. has been declining. In the 25 period after, years after 1970, declined by almost one half. Another cause for concern. Only 5% of all the bachelor's degrees in the U.S. go in are in engineering. This compares to four times as much in Asia and six times as much in China. This makes you wonder who eventually will have more technically grounded leaders and innovators. And as reported elsewhere, U.S. consumers spend more on potato chips every year than the U.S. government devotes to energy R&D. Of course, there's much more good and bad news. But in summary, I believe there's reason for guarded optimism for the U.S. going forward. If the U.S. properly invests in science and technology innovation and education, if it renews its commitment to be a leader in science and technology, then its prospects are bright. If not, the U.S. could fall far behind.